Dan Kilbridge here for SpartanTailgate.com with Full Court Press on a lovely Monday afternoon in East Lansing, Michigan. Tom Izzo met with the media today to preview his 9 p.m. game Tuesday against Syracuse in New York at Madison Square Garden. Number eight Syracuse comes in at 8-0. It'll be another good test for the Spartans as they prepare to get ready for the conference season coming up here in January. Now a few injuries for the Spartans still kind of bothering them from the Bowling Green game. Kalen Lucas had that Achilles stiffen up on him a little bit in that game and decided to sit the second half as a precautionary measure. He's still hurting a little bit, sat out of practice on Sunday, he's going to try to go a little bit on Monday. Izzo wasn't sure exactly how much he could do, but they're going to give it a go and I'm sure he'll be able to play come Tuesday night against Syracuse. Corey Lucius is another guy who got banged up in the Bowling Green game. He took a shot to the ribs. Thought for a minute they might be broken, but it turned out to be just bruised ribs. So he's also sat out of practice until this point. Not sure if he's going to be able to go today, but Izzo said he was almost certain he would play on Tuesday considering that Lucius, you know, has had so many injuries and he considers him one of the toughest guys on the team. You saw him return from the ankle injury in the uh, UConn game in Hawaii. So really overcame some tough injuries, had the broken foot, suffered in the Final Four. He's a gamer, he's gonna be ready, but the Spartans are banged up, uh, no doubt about that. Now you look at what they're gonna have to do against Syracuse. It all starts with the zone with the Orangemen, that 2-3 run by Jim Beheim that Izzo called maybe the best zone he's ever seen. Now what you have to do there is you wanna get penetration into the paint and kick it out to the wings and get some open open looks for some guys from three-point range. Now, Izzo and his team got a little bit of that against Bowling Green. Bowling Green ran somewhat of a similar 2-3 zone. The difference with Syracuse is, though, they've got some big boys back there in the paint, so it's going to be a lot tougher to get in there and mix it up. I think that's something where Izzo is excited to see how his team responds. And this is another game where it's a different type of team that you're going to see maybe later in the tournament. Izzo always likes to schedule these teams that give you a different look, much like South Carolina did earlier this season with the way they press and the traps they ran. And this is another team and another zone defense that could come up later in the tournament. So it's good that Izzo and his team are going to get a shot at it uh, come Tuesday night. Now they're going to get to New York uh, later this evening on Monday. Maybe walk around Times Square, Izzo said, but mostly they're just going to rest. Still very... Very travel weary, I think, from Duke. I already mentioned the injuries. So Izzo said he's going to try to let the guys sleep in until around 10, 10.30 on Tuesday morning, have some pregame breakfast and go through all that routine because the game doesn't start till 9, so they've got a little extra time. Now this is the Jimmy V Classic, I should mention, and uh, Izzo said, you know, he didn't know Jimmy V all that well, met him once or twice, but those Italians, they always have that link in common, and he mentioned watching the famous Jimmy V speech that he delivered during the ESPYs, actually while he was at Duke in the hotel room waiting to play against uh, the Blue Devils, so he saw that and, uh, you know, really reminded him of uh, what a great person Jimmy V was and, you know, how basketball coaches can affect people. It'll be a tough test for Michigan State on Tuesday, and we'll be back on Saturday from the Palace of Auburn Hills as Michigan State takes on Oakland later this week. For Dan Kilbridge and SpartanTailgate.com, this is Full Court Press.